Hello everyone, this is Rafael Segura, Microfocus Network Automation Expert, and in this video we will see how to install Standalone Network Automation 2022.05. Let us begin by preparing the server where we are going to install NA. A good place to start that is not documented is to disable firewalls if allowed. If not allowed to disable, modify them as necessary. I will begin by checking the status of the firewall service and then proceed to disable it by stopping the service. Some Unix systems may run IP tables instead of firewall D. On this particular system, I am running Red Hat 8 so we have to verify certain libraries are installed using rpm-qa and grepping for the library name. If they are not installed, they can be installed using command yum install and the library name as long as your server is connected to a yum repository. You will notice the askers in our documentation for the libraries, which can indicate the value of the version can vary. Now we can move on to the actual installation of NA. We will cd to the directory that contains our installation package. Decompress the NA gzip package with gzip minus D and the file name. This may take a bit since it's a fairly large file. While we wait, I will mention the NA license. In my case, I will use the instant known that comes with the installer, which is good for 60 days and limited to 250 devices. With this option, there is no need to do anything after installation, but a new permanent license must be acquired and installed prior to the 60th day. Now we can untar the resulting file using tar-xvf and the file name. We wait a few seconds for the packages to finish extracting. Once the packages are completely extracted, we navigate into the bin directory. Set the time zone environment variable using TC equals UTC and export TC. Determine the open file limit using ulimit minus capital SN and ulimit minus capital H and the limit for both must be at least 32768. If they are not set high enough like mine, use ulimit minus N 32768. Verify the values again and continue. Execute the command Linux underscore 1010 dash 2022 0505 underscore setup underscore 64 dot bin in the bin directory of the release package. Now we wait a few seconds while the installation resources are extracted and the installer is configured for your environment. Press enter to continue the installation process. Press enter again to continue the installation process. 
Select option three for the installer to also install the database that ships with the NA. Select option one to install Postgres SQL along with the NA application. Here is a reference to security hardening for NA post install, and we must agree to the terms, option one. Again, I will be deploying with the instant on license, so just leave the license file blank and press enter. We select the install folder. I will use the default opt NA. For the Postgres installation section, select the location of the Postgres SQL server, which should not be the NA installation folder, and then press enter. We can configure an email server here, but I will do that at a later time after install, so we'll leave these values by default. Now we see an overview of the choices we selected for the installation. We press enter and wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation completes, we will need to set the password for the Postgres admin user Postgres. Postgres services are started. Now we will configure a user and password in NA that will connect to the database, not the same as the Postgres admin user. Then we will configure the name of the database instance to be created. NA is the default value. We indicate to create the user in NA, which will be user ID 1. Press enter. Now we give details that we want to relate to this NA administrator user. In this example, I will use my name and a sample email. Now the installer will create the new DB instance in Postgres when we press enter. Here we see a recommendation for full text search. By default, case insensitivity is set and most environments need it, but in case your environment uses case sensitivity to distinguish managed devices, select no. For the FIPS mode section, read the information about the federal information processing and standardization. FIPS mode in NA, press enter. Read the information about Microfocus Marketplace. If the NA core server is connected to the internet, you can use Microfocus Marketplace to receive free NA driver pack updates and subscription-based network security and compliance updates. Press enter. Set the credential store password to create the NA credential store. Make a note of the password as the password cannot be retrieved later. Set the key store password to create the NA key store. To use the key store password for NA Trust Store, enter Y. If you don't want to use the same password, enter N. We have successfully installed NA. Press enter to exit the installer. Now we can see the NA DTC services running in the server. DTC TFTP, DTC Syslog, DTC NA App Server, DTC FTP, and DTC UI proxy server. 
the NA console should now be accessible on port 443. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to sharing more tips for MicroFocus Network Automation.